What is up, my wonderful Wookiees? This is Dr. Wookiee. We're going to be discussing some eternal paradox. That's right. Grand opening December 5th. That's with play to earn and NFTs and everything. The game is going to be fire. We're going to discuss eternal paradox, how to earn, and the latest AMA. At the very end of this video, I am doing the drawing for uh, that Gala Gold mystery box. If you if you put a comment on that rep video, click my links. Uh, you are entered. And I'm going to be nice and go ahead and throw in two Gala film mystery boxes as well. So that'll be three, uh, three people to win something at the end of this video so let's jump in first off land and earning we all want to discuss this now look at this beautiful beautiful elysium ancient land number 59 it's right over here on the right side there uh definitely come and plop your stuff on this land why because it's dr wookie's land and why wouldn't i want as many people as possible i will try to be very active in this land changing the buffs uh, for depending on what events are going on so that we can have the absolute best buffs and have the best chance of getting those daily points. Now, what the Gala Film A or the Gala Eternal Paradox AMA, why am I stuck on film? This was the Gala Eternal Paradox AMA. Of course, these are all Korean developers that are creating this game. They have a great team. However, this whole thing, you basically would have to read all of the subtitles. So I'm going to give you the breakdown of what we kind of went over. First off, people want to know, how do I earn with my land? So there's not direct earnings. What I mean by that is you are going to have to be somewhat active and play an active role in the game to go ahead and earn. So huge announcement. There's going to be an Eternal Paradox token. That's right. You heard me right. This game is going to have an Eternal Paradox token. The only way to get that token is going to be playing daily owning lands and of course season rewards so it's kind of three different aspects here first off day to day there'll be daily earnings and rewards just like other games where you're developing points i think it's silver but i'm not sure points and those build up right and then at the end of the day uh depending on what the breakdown is people are going to get eternal paradox token from that now there's going to be season rewards if you remember this game is 49 days long for each season at the end of each season what happens everything gets wiped okay but at the end of the season depending where you place where your guild places you can also earn some more eternal paradox token the reason the eternal paradox token is an important thing to discuss is because they are not going to be accepting any fiat to be able to purchase like speed up boosts resource boosts all those things in game are going to have to be purchased with the eternal paradox token and, of course, the Eternal Paradox token will be available, and you can send it to your Gala Chain wallet address, so it will be on Gala Chain. Uh, so, of course, you'll be able to, like, trade, buy, sell it later as uh, things progress with Gala Chain, which everything's going really quick. Uh, with the Marketplace, Rasta Kip is doing some really cool stuff. So, let's go ahead and just kind of think about a couple of things. So, your best chance at earning, is, of course, is getting on a good piece of land so that you get good buffs and so that your mercenaries can really, really just keep leveling up and get super strong now if you didn't know already the mercenary tomes they are on sale first link down below will take you right to it also thank you for everybody who clicks that link i really love you guys so much uh, but the mercenary tomes, so these are NFTs, right? And you have a chance at getting, you know, even ancient ones when you buy these and open these, which we'll buy four and open them at the end here because uh, I haven't gotten any yet. Um, so these four mercenaries, basically, depending on their rarity, rare, epic, legendary, or ancient, they have basically different size pouches of how much silver they can gain in a day and hold. At the end of the day, that silver will turn into, like, those points and everything and turn into, like, Eternal Paradox token. At least that is how I understand it so far. So, of course... Uh, you want to have at least a full team if you can. Uh, so that's like four folks. You don't have to, but four folks is a full team. And I know right now too, I think in that Gala AMA or that AMA, they did discuss like you can run like five full teams is like the max or something, which is like 20, 20 players or something. Um, I'd have to like get more clarification from them, but they definitely mentioned that. And that's what it definitely sounded like. Um, so uh, this young guy, Blockchain Gaming so, World, uh, just gonna, ooh, is that going on? Let's, let's, put, uh, let's go ahead and mute that. Uh, shows a little bit of the game as well. So I'm going to let this kind of play in the background as we discuss a couple more of the big, big AMA questions that everybody really, really wants to know about. Uh, so first off, the building upgrades here. So you can upgrade buildings in your, your town, your city. Uh, they did verify that you will not be able to like increase how many slots you can upgrade at a time. So the max is two where you can upgrade two buildings at a time. So that's going to be a grind. You're going to have to log in and be able to like, you know, click things. 
Uh, for the mercenaries, there's gear for them. There's six different like areas of gear you can put on mercenaries, and there's four different sets, whatever specifically that was mentioning. Now, the reason those mercenary tomes are also super duper duper important is because at the end of that 49 days, your mercenary will have immortal stats. Now, I don't know if that means everything remains, but you will obviously get a significant buff starting the next season because your NFT, your mercenary, is going to be ahead of the game for the next like start of season two. And of course, fighting in the conquest and getting ahead in things. Um, they have different management things in here. Uh, they have like field, field skills, management skills, strategic skills. Uh, you know, having to figure out kind of which ones to raise first, of course, is going to be really important. And of course, uh, you know, during this whole game, the whole point is to occupy the rings, the rings of power. So the rings of power are these guys, these bad boys, okay, in the middle. Uh, these are like the rings of power. You want to like uh, be able to, you know, conquest these and, and win the ring uh, for your guild and everything. And occupying it does not give you a buff okay and the reason being is because they don't want the super powerful guilds to be able to just sit on them all the time and have some crazy super powerful buff so there's no buff in that they did uh did you know uh acknowledge that now the four uh areas of upgrade there's command resource mercenary and army and the the devs did say like hey you really want to focus on kind of the basic stuff like resources and like uh, time management stuff so you can build stuff faster. And then later in the season, you're going to really be upgrading the like mercenary and army stuff, getting ready for the huge, huge battle that happens at the end of the season for an hour and a half when everybody's going to go all out just fighting uh, for their guild to win. Now, like I said, they, they mentioned numerous times that the lands don't directly translate however to earnings. However, they do greatly increase uh, your ability to earn like eternal paradox token um, and like daily rewards of course um, and if you own land i think you get like a small like piece of tax or something from like people what they earn or, or gain on your land when they're resource gathering um like we said no fiat it's going to be eternal paradox token to buy any of those like resource boosts and stuff which is going to be kind of cool um, there are no nodes for Eternal Paradox. That's a huge other kind of discussion that people definitely need to understand. There's no nodes. The only way to get Eternal Paradox token is playing this game, you know, owning the land and playing the game that way. Uh, there'll be the daily rewards. There'll be the season rewards. And then they're going to have events. I think what's incredible about Eternal Paradox is they have a whole year worth of the seasons ready to go and changes and differences with each one. So they've really thought out a, like a beautiful rough draft on how this is going to progress after we launch, uh, which is so cool because it's starting in December. So it's going to be a whole year of, you know, 49 day seasons. Um, and of course, then you're going to get like mercenary rewards. Uh, your mercenaries are going to apply that multiplier. So like I said, they fill out their silver pouch. They can apply a multiplier to your daily points you get. going to help you earn some of that Eternal Paradox token. And of course, they do have a huge focus on the free-to-play players as well. Um, you obviously, we, we want free-to-play players to be in our guilds to play with us. Uh, they obviously boost the value of our t NFTs, and it just makes the game a lot more fun. So they definitely have that focus. And they said they have 11 languages ready. Uh, so for all the different folks who can play and everything. And then, of course, they did mention, you know, Korea, they uh, block, like, play-to-earn games. I'm pretty sure all the Koreans just use uh, virtual private networks uh, to get past all that, but I have no idea um, how that all specifically works on their side. So that's kind of the, the big aspects of Eternal Paradox or the really, really significant things they did mention in the video. Like I said, Elysium land number 59 is where the cool kids are going to be. Uh, let's go ahead and grab four of these right now, and I will open them with you because everybody wants to see four of these get open, huh? Ooh, here's my transfer code. And it was on Gala Chain, some of those Gala, so that was super cool. Look how quick that was. Uh, so let's go view it in the inventory then, huh? All right, guys, it took a minute to fulfill, so I cut that out. Uh, but let's go ahead and open up these bad boys. Oh, we can bridge it to Ethereum already? That's pretty cool. Maybe I should look and see if people are already selling selling some for us. Uh, or selling some. All right, let's open this bad. Ooh, what a cool, cool animation. This is super sweet. All right, come on, baby. Uh, Rare. Okay, all right. I bet you we get four rares because uh, that's what I got on Champions Arena too. Let's see. Fingers crossed. I already saw some folks get some really, really lucky stuff, which is super cool. Come on, baby. I just want a full team of four. I want them to be different, too. That'd be really, really cool as well. All right. We got a rare Emma. All right. It's different than... Uh, uh, I forget the name of the dude we just opened. All right. Third one, baby. 
Let's go. Come on, purple. Purple. Ah, uh, blue Aiden. All right, all right. This is our last chance, guys. Are we going to get a rare? Are we going to get a fourth rare? I mean, Bitbender did choose my name on the, the Twitch the other day, so I did get a Santa, Sana from him. All right, another blue. Four rares, okay? That's that's the standard for me. But, I, hey, they're all different. That's what really matters to me. I got a four-person four, four person, uh, team, uh, all different characters. So, uh, man, that buy more button is always so enticing, isn't it, when you're like, ah, oh, four rares. All right, let's go ahead and uh, draw our winners for uh, the Gala Gold Mystery Box. Anything goes, include replies, sure. Let's see what we got going on here. And only 42 comments. So you guys, you guys got a pretty good chance if you comment on my videos to like win something. Keith Rue. Look at this, baby. Hope all is well. Galachas have the a question here. All right, Keith, you win a Gala Gold mystery box. Shoot me a message, uh, either comment on the video or something, or shoot me a message in Discord, Twitter, one of the two. Okay, next winner for a Common Ground film mystery box, Future777. This interview is very well done. Thank you very much. Same thing. Shoot me a message. And the next winner, Nicholas Aragon. All right, those are our winners for today. Shoot me a message, and I will get you stuff sent over on Gala Chain. As always, Wookiees, stay warm. Mm -hmm.